Well, working with Kurt is um, is a blast. Uh, I have known Kurt uh, and and Lawrence for fifteen years, I guess. Um, they are uh, veterans of the Chicago scene, as as, as you may know. So. Um, I'm still based in Chicago, so over the years, I played with them intermittently, and Kurt gave me a call, of, I guess it's getting close to two years ago now, to participate in, in The Gate, his, his most recent project. Um, and working with them is a real treat. He's, um, I've worked with a lot of singers over the years, and I don't want to say anything bad about any of them. Most of them have been wonderful, and working with vocalists is one of my favorite things to do. But I'm not sure I could name another one with the uh, musical skills that, uh, that, that Kurt possesses. He's, uh, he is involved in the details of the music. Sometimes you work with a vocalist who's a, just a fantastic vocalist um, and a great person to work for and work with. Uh, but they're, what they're doing is sort of uh, applying themselves over the surface of, of what's going on. Uh, oftentimes they'll have a music director or uh, someone kind of taking care of the nitty gritty stuff. And Kurt has a great collaborator in, in Lawrence Hobgood, of course, but um, the level of detail uh, that Kurt is aware of in the music is very impressive. So it's like, you know, it's like working with a great tenor saxophonist uh, in, in that regard. It's, so it has all the benefits of the singer thing and the text and the lyrics and that very direct conduit with the audience, but also a very high level of musicianship that's, um, uh, I don't want to call it unique in the world, but I've never experienced it before. Well, they just started calling me and hiring me and paying me, so I assumed I was doing something right. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know why I would be uh, well suited to that. I know that I spend a lot of time listening to uh, my favorite singers. Um, I love the integration of, of text and music. I've been involved with a lot of projects that involve poetry and music, um, which is basically the definition of a song, I suppose. So it's always been an area of interest to me. Um, oftentimes, there's a lack of balance so that 90% of the emphasis is placed on the presentation of a lyric, 10% of the emphasis is placed on the support and the uh, additional elements of the music. As I said earlier with Kurt, there's a wonderful balance. Uh, he's a very adventurous uh, uh, singer, so it's nice to get in a situation um, like that. And as far as working with Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Hobgood, that is, uh, Kurt's musical director. Uh, I've just always loved playing with him. He's a, he's a very consummate pianist. He, he occupies a great deal of space in the music, and I say that in a very, very positive way. And that's kind of cool in this particular situation because it frees me up to function in a lot of different ways. Sometimes I just add just a little color to the edges of the music, and Lawrence will do all the sort of heavy lifting in the, in the center of the music. I can also, on the very next tune, func function essentially like a horn player. Um, so I, I can kind of occupy these different roles um, and sort of complement the, the core thing, um, which is, I guess, uh, one of the reasons why, why a player like Kurt would, would contact me to, to be involved with a project like this. Um, he knows that Lawrence and I aren't going to be butting heads musically or, or clashing in that way. Oh, uh, some other vocalists that I've worked with over the years. Uh, I, sp I spent uh, quite a few years uh, with a Chicago-based vocalist named Patricia Barber. We did a, I guess we'd be going back a decade or so, but we did uh, two or three records, and uh, I did quite a bit of traveling with her. Um, did a few hits with Moe's Allison, coming from a different kind of stylistic direction there, of course, but that was a blast. I've always been a big fan of his. Um, I'm working a fair amount recently with a singer from Poland. Her name is Grazina Augustczyk. Uh, we've worked together for, for quite some years. Very interesting um, singer. Uh, uh, sort of a loose... Uh, 
it's a silly word, but uh, ethereal, I suppose you might call it, a floaty kind of quality. She has a very light uh, voice, beautiful voice. Um, and I'm creating some settings uh, for, for the thing that she does. We're going to do sort of a collaboration uh, record coming up, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about working with her as well. Over the years, it's become, um, that phone call would have taken place at least 15 years ago. So over that period of time, uh, uh, she's uh, sang on some CDs that I've made. I've, I've played on five or six of her CDs. This is the first time this project that we're working on right now where we're sort of assembling it together. Um, so we each have veto power, in other words, on, uh, on the material and, and the approach to the material. So, so that, that's an interesting, uh, I've never done that before, frankly. You know, I've either been the leader or you know, very frequently, as, as with Kurt and so on and so forth, the, the side man. I've never actually started from scratch on a project in sort of a 50-50 relationship with another musician or singer. So uh, we'll see how it works out. <laughs>